Hello everyone, myself Bhautik Trivedi, working as an assistant professor in ITICT department of LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. I will explain you the concept of multicast routing in advanced networking protocol subject. So all of you know what is the meaning of unicasting, what is the meaning of multicasting and what is the meaning of broadcasting. Unicasting means what? One sender, one receiver that is known as a unicasting. Multicasting means one sender, two group of receiver that is known as a multicasting. And broadcasting means one sender to all the receivers that is known as a broadcasting. So in today's session, focus on the concept of multicast routing in detail. So let's start with one by one. So here you just see the diagram. What do you mean by unicasting? What do you mean by unicast routing? So unicast routing means what? The router forward the receive packet through only one of its interface means with using only one path. Here you just see that is the sender, that is the source. So directly send this packet to this particular router with using this particular interface. So the logic is that unicasting means with using only one interface, you can directly forward the packet to the destination or to the another router. So that is the concept of the unicasting. Next one. What do you mean by multicasting? So multicast routing means what? The router may forward the receive packet through different different interface. So what is the difference between the unicasting and multicasting? The difference is that in unicasting with using only one interface you can directly forward the packet but in multicasting with using the different different interface you can directly forward the packet. So here you just see the diagram. So this particular router transfer the packet with using the different different interface. Here you just see the second router. So that is known as a concept of multicasting. After that, what is the difference between multicasting versus multiple unicasting? So here you just see multicasting and multiple unicasting. So here you just see here that is the diagram for the multicasting. Means with using the different different interface you can directly transfer the packet. In multiple unicasting, you can directly sending the different different packet with using only one interface. So that is the logic of the multicasting versus multiple unicasting. So up to this whatever the discussion that is totally regarding unicasting, multicasting and multiple unicasting. After that, application of multicasting. What's the application of the multicasting? So first one, access to distributed database means in a distributed database, you can directly use the concept of the multicasting for the accessing method point of view. Second one, second one that is known as the information dissemination. So multicast software update to the customer. Third and the most important one that is known as a news delivery. In news delivery, you can use the concept of the multicasting. All of you know the news channel concept. Next one that is the teleconferencing and web seminars. In this you can use the concept of the multicasting and last one the distance learning that is the DL mode. In this you can use the concept of the multicasting. So these all are the application of the multicasting. After that multicast routing objective and terminology. Why we use the multicast routing in a networking that is the most important thing and which particular terminology that is the part of the multicast routing. So here you just see in multicast routing must remember one thing each and every member receive the exactly one copy of the packet that is the logic of the multicast routing. Second one non member receive nothing means if you the if you are the member of the particular group then and then you can directly receive the copy of the packet otherwise not. Third one in root no loops in a root that is the part of the multicast routing and last one optimal path from source to each destination that is the most important concept that is the most important objective for the multicast routing. Which particular terminology that can be used with the multicast routing? So first one that is known as a spanning tree and second one that is known as a shortest path spanning tree. Spanning tree means what? Spanning tree means source is the root group members. 
Chores is the root and group members are the leaf node. That is for the spawning tree. And shortest path spawning tree means what? Each path from the root to the leaf is the shortest according to some metric. What is the meaning of metric here? Metric means that can be known as a distance. That can be known as a weight. So according to that, you can directly creating a spawning tree and that is known as a shortest path spawning tree. After that, if you want to design the multicast tree in a networking, so total number of ways for that. So total number of two ways for that. One that is known as a source based tree and second one that is known as a group set tree. What is the meaning of source based tree? So in this, for each combination of the source and group, you can directly creating a one shortest path spanning tree. So total number of approaches for the shortest path spanning tree. So mainly two approaches for that. Approach number one that is known as a DVMRP and approach number two that is known as a MOSPF. DVMRP means what? Distance Vector Multicast Routing Protocol and MOSPF means Multicast Open Shortest Path First. So mainly two approaches for that. So DVMRP that is an extension of Unicast Distance Vector Routing Protocol and all of you know Distance Vector Routing Protocol means what? That is the RIP and MOSPF means that is the extension of Unicast Link State Routing Protocol and all of you know Link State Routing Protocol means what? That is the OSPF. So that is the extension of that. Group Share Tree. So Group Share Tree means one tree for the entire group you can create for that. Then after the one point that is known as a one router that is a center of the group and therefore that is known as a root of the tree. So mainly two protocol for that. One that is known as a CBT and second one that is known as a PIM. CBT means what? That is the core based tree and PIM means protocol independent multicast. So for this mainly two, one D and one S, D for the dance and S for the sparse. So up to this, whatever the discussion, if I want to create, if I want to use the multicast routing protocol, so mainly three to four protocols for that. One that is the DVMRP, second one that is the MOSPF, third one that is the CBT. Again, I repeat the name that is known as a core based tree and fourth one that is the PIM that is the protocol independent multicast. So let's start with this. So here you just see at least you know the name of this protocol in a hierarchical manner. So first one that is known as a multicast routing protocol that is divided into two part. One that is known as a source based tree. Second one that is known as a group based tree. Source based tree is divided into two parts. One that is the DVMRP, MOSPF. Group based tree supported PIM and CBT. PIM supported two types D and S. D for the dense, S for the sparse. So up to this, at least you know the four name DVMRP, MOSPF, PIM and CBT. So let's start with one by one in an introductory part. So here you just see first one. DVMRP. So what is the meaning of DVMRP? Distance Vector Multicast Routing Protocol. So here you just see no predefined route from source to destination. How I create this? How I create the tree is gradually created by successive routers along the path. So which particular concept? That is the part of that. So using the shortest path for that. So what's the advantage behind that? So mainly two advantage here, preventing the loop and preventing the duplication. If I want to preventing the loop, which particular concept that is the part of that? That is known as an RPF. RPF means reverse path forwarding. If I want to prevent the duplication, which particular concept that is the part of that? Reverse path broadcasting. And last one, multicast with dynamic membership. So for this reverse path multicasting. So must remember three full form here. One RPF that is for the reverse path forwarding. One that is the RPB that is the reverse path broadcasting. And third one RPM that is the known as a reverse path multicasting. Again I repeat the name, must remember the name. RPF reverse path forwarding. RPB reverse path broadcasting 
and RPM reverse path multicasting. So let's start with one by one. Here you just see only the definition of this particular thing that is the most important one. Reverse path forwarding means what? Reverse path forwarding means what? The router forward only those packets that have traveled the shortest path from the source to the router. All other copies are discarded. Means no loops here. Must remember one thing: whatever the shortest path, you can directly select this particular thing. All other copies are discarded here. That is known as a reverse path forwarding. Second one: reverse path broadcasting. So reverse path broadcasting means what? So here you just see network three receives two copies of the packet, one from this side and one from this side. So that is known as a reverse path broadcasting. Reverse path broadcasting means what? Router R1 sending this packet to Net1 also, and Router R1 sending one packet to Net2 also. Means with using the different different interface, it can directly transmitting the packet. Means network three receives two copies of two copies of the packet. That is the reverse path broadcasting. So up to this, at least you know the two important point. One that is known as a RPF. Second one that is known as a RPB. RPF means reverse path forwarding, and RPB means reverse path broadcasting. So here you just see RPF versus RPB. What is the difference between the RPF and RPB? In RPF, must remember one thing. In RPF, the router with the shortest path. to the source becomes the designated parent of the network that is the most important thing and router forward on packets only to its designated child network that is the concept regarding the rpf and rpb means what so r1 is the parent of net1 and net2 and r2 is the parent of net3 so that is the concept of the rpf and rpb after that RPB create a shortest path broadcast tree. Up to this RPF and then after here you just see RPB that is the reverse path broadcasting. So for this you creating a one shortest path broadcast tree from the source to each destination. So it guarantees that each and every destination receives one and only one copy of the packet. Again I repeat the concept of reverse path broadcasting. What is the meaning of that? for from the source to destination to each and every destination you creating a one shortest path broadcast tree so it guarantees that each destination receives one and only one copy of the packet so here you just see rpb rpm and rpf again i repeat the name reverse path broadcasting reverse path forwarding and reverse path multicasting so here you just see what is the meaning of rpm here so rpm adds the pruning and grafting to rpb to create a multicast shortest path tree that support the dynamic membership changes so this is the diagram for that how you apply the pruning how you apply the grafting so all of you just see that is the rpf that is the rpb that is the rpm after pruning and rpm after grafting after that mospf so here you just see multicast open shortest path first so here you just see unicast tree for tree unicast tree for d means all of you know with using one interface i can directly transmit the something so here you just see one to one unicast tree for b here you just see on with using only one interface i can directly supporting this and multicast tree for all routers so here you just see from the a you guy did directly sending the b c and all so that is known as a mospf after that cbt means what cbt means that is the concept of the shared tree group so here you just see the one router one center router that is the r and after that a b c d e different different router and different different member so this is the diagram for the core based tree that is known as a cbt after that cbt supported the two types one that is the unicasting one that is the multicasting so here i am directly using the concept of the unicasting as well as the multicasting concept 
so again i creating a one tree one central router is there central router is directly attaching to the different different router and different different member so that is the diagram for the core based tree that is the cbt up to these three important point first one that is the dvmrp second one that is the om ospf and third one that is the core based tree that is the cbt so what is the meaning of cbt here cbt means the source send the multicast packet but that is in a form of encapsulated in a unicast packet to the core router and core router directly de encapsulate the packet and forward it to all interested host so what is the meaning of that first of all source sending the multicast packet to the core router but that is in a encapsulated form that is in a unicast packet so what is the main functionality of the core router core router directly decapsulate the entire packet and forward it to the all interested host so that's the logic of the core based tree so that's all about the today's session in today's session must remember one thing first of all talk about the concept of the multicast route multicasting unicasting broadcasting then after the talk about the multicast routing protocol mainly two types out of the two types then that supporting the three to four types first one talk about the dvmrp that is the distance vector multicast routing protocol second one talk about the mospf that is the multi uh, that is the multicasting open shortest path first then after talk about the cbt that is the core base tree so that's all about the today's session thank you for watching